Hey, it's Mike here with Auto Vlog, and today we're taking a look at the 2015 Ford Focus ST. This one here is the ST3 package, meaning it is the fully loaded version of the Ford Focus ST. I did uh, a review a couple months back here on the ST1 on the 2015 Ford Focus ST. Thought I'd do one here so you guys can check out the one that comes with you know the Recaro package, navigation, and all the features available for a Ford Focus ST. So we're gonna walk around it here and take a look at some of the upgrades for the 2015 Ford Focus lineup in general. This car here is in the color magnetic. And as you can see here, if you have a trained Ford Eye, you can see that the lines are sleeker versus the uh, older generation Focus for the rear facial lights. We have the dual exhaust in the middle, just like the uh, the old ST. We have the ST badge right here. And for those of you who don't know, the ST stands for Sport Technologies. It has the Radar wheels, 18 inch, sitting on Goodyear Eagle F1 tires. It's missing the little Ford cap there in the middle. Being a brand new car here, it hasn't really they haven't really done the pre-delivery inspection finished yet and put those on so that's why that's missing in case anyone is wondering now these radar wheels look so much better than the uh, the uh, silver ones this actually being a standard wheel for 2015 versus being an option for 2013 and 14 as we move along here to the grill in front of the vehicle in my opinion looks so much better sleeker lines nicer looking headlights what I'm gonna do is turn on the LED running lights here see if you can see them better from this light here very nice. New for 2015 as well. Focus ST has the same engine. It's the uh, two liter, four cylinder EcoBoost engine, putting out 252 horsepower and 270 pound feet of torque. Typical wing on the back of the hatch. Brake light. I just love this color. I love this magnetic color. Just did a uh, Ford Explorer review as well yesterday with the same color. So I guess I'm a little partial. Might have to get this my next vehicle myself. <laughs> so what we're gonna do here as we walk around Cap this fuel tank. Our all Ford and Lincoln vehicles have this. Just a very nice, convenient feature. NASCAR inspired. Just stick the fuel nozzle in there. No stinky fingers or annoying check engine lights for loose gas caps and such. The ST is only available in the hatchback. Actually, giving it 10 cubic feet more cargo space than the uh, a regular sedan focus would, would get see the subwoofer in the back Sony stereo system st2 and st3 packages get the my four touch system with the Sony stereo system what we're gonna do here is jump inside the car and check out the interior before we do that, we'll take a look at the keyless entry. 
that every, uh, not every Ford, but most Fords get, get a five digit code. You can enter the vehicle by entering the code and basically lock the, the car that way as well. Very nice if, let's say you're going jogging or you don't want stuff in your pocket, you can just leave the key in the car and then uh, unlock and lock the vehicle with your five digit code. Now being an ST, you get the smart key access fob. Keep it in your pocket. Put your hand behind the door handle and it unlocks. Put your thumb on the sensor. It locks as well. Automatic windows down, all four windows. ST silk plate. And then of course we have the Recaro seats very nice looking black leather you have the Recaro on the side here ST badge up top as well as on the passenger side in the back you get regular leather seats floor mats laying there on the one side Cup holder. Aluminum sport pedals. Push button start. Put the clutch down. For any Ford Focus owner or a ST owner, you will see here that the buttons and the displacement and the look of them are different from a uh, 13 or a 14. So you get your fan speed buttons here. And just your dual climate control right there. I mean, the functionality of it is the same, looks the same, pretty much. Just the buttons are designed a little different. Get your heated seats here. New for 2015, you have a heated steering wheel in the ST3. Traction control button located right there. You have a USB port right here versus having both of them in the armrest. Now you have one there in the SD card holder along with a 12 volt. Same little coin holding cubby there. Cup holders right here. As most of you know, all STs come in a six speed manual transmission, no automatic for the ST whatsoever. your instrument cluster in the middle controlled by these buttons on the left side of the steering wheel that we will be taking a look at here flat bottom on the STs leather wrapped right here very nice to the touch now the buttons control pretty much the same thing as on an older ST they just look a little different it's slightly redesigned gotten a facelift basically buttons on the left side of the steering wheel control the middle instrument cluster you have your digital speedometer tripodometer average fuel instant fuel economy distance to empty trip timer and so on I was just scrolling down there you click the left button you get out to the main menu just another trip meter you have your information screen settings Top here above the 
touchscreen, you have your PSI meter, oil temperature, and that kind of thing. One new feature for the 2015 STs is that backup camera, standard, it is actually standard for all Ford Focuses, no matter what trim level, but even if you got an ST3 um, ST for the 2014 uh, model year and even 13, the backup camera was not available. So, very nice feature on the My4 touchscreen. Sony stereo system. on a better radio station here please say a command Sirius 53 sorry that channel could not be found Sirius say a command cancel canceling we're just gonna punch it in manually here Very, very nice stereo system. I have a separate video showing a short tutorial of the My4 Touch system that you guys can check out right there if you are interested. But as we move along here, we have the ambient lighting button right there. Can't really see it in daylight, but the car will light up in different colors. You can choose between red, blue, yellow, green, all kinds of colors and that is only available with the ST3 package. Have your little sunglass holder right there. Sunroof. Airbags all around. Knee airbags. All in all, you have seven or eight airbags, if I'm not mistaken. Your light switch right here. Interior dimming. Fog light switch right there. Cruise control. Still have a CD player. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take it for a uh, short drive. Okay, so driving the uh, 2015 Ford Focus ST, just pulling out of a uh, parking lot here, and uh, we're gonna get going. That is what I like the best about driving this Focus ST, the sound. The uh, two liter four cylinder EcoBoost engine sounds so much better than, and I'm always comparing to this, the EcoBoost Mustang. Because the EcoBoost Mustang, it's, it's a very nice car, it, is, it has great power and everything, but it sounds horrible. It's, it sounds like a sewing machine or something. So I, I don't understand really what Ford did with the EcoBoost Mustang that they can't even get it to sound at least comparable to an ST. <clears throat> an ST sounds great inside of the uh, side of the car here from the driver's position. The um, sound enchantment that they that they put in the cars nowadays to you know make it sound better from you know inside the car they just completely I don't know messed up with on the EcoBoost Mustang but obviously this review is not about the the Mustang it's about this ST here and <clears throat> as I'm driving I mean it has the the Recaro package which is nice I mean they hug hug you real well and I do like them you know you feel sporty and if you're doing very active driving then it is nice that these seats hug you. Now, on a long, longer trip, I don't know if I would like them. I mean, again, I haven't been on a long trip in these seats, and maybe it's just my size that 
they're not, you know, made for me. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm tall, six foot two, but I'm not, I'm not in <clears throat> abnormally big or anything like that, so. <laughs> oh, that torque's there, I love it. Beautiful. I like the second gear and the third gear in any kind of uh, manual vehicle that has enough power. I don't, I'm not about driving fast or anything, but obviously I love the acceleration of this car. Um, it's just perfect. Now, until I have the chance to uh, review a, you know, the new Focus RS, then uh, I do like this with front wheel drive. It has a special character to it when you drive a car that is front wheel drive and has you know plenty of power it is fun I like the I like the torque steer where you kind of have to you know fight it a little bit to, to not have the car go all over the place if you guys have checked out the uh, ST review I did um, a few months back it was actually winter time still I think it was snowy outside that one did not have the recar package it was an ST one uh, Ford Focus ST this is the ST3 package, as I mentioned already, fully loaded, has the navigation, the ambient lighting, and and uh, all those things that come with the ST3 package. My optional equipment, if I had an ST myself, would be an ST1 package, but with the My4 Touch. As you, you can't get the My4 Touch infotainment screen in an ST1 so which is kind of you know I don't know why they choose to do that pass these people here I don't know why Ford chooses to do it that way um, because it would be nice to have the regular cloth seats, but I do want the uh, My4 Touch infotainment system with the Sony stereo system as this has. Uh, you have to go ST2 or ST3 to be able to get this Sony stereo system. And listen to an old 90s banger. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> anyway. stuck in traffic here but driving the ST I mean it's fun as always I mean I love driving this car um, I hadn't really driven it with the Recaro seats yet and I would have to say I mean they look great they feel great right when you sit down in them but I guess you know I don't know a dude my size long term I would not go with the uh, Recaro seats I would just go with the regular cloth seats Okay guys, thank you so much for uh, hanging out here for this 2015 Ford Focus ST review. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Do you like the look of the 15s better than the previous, uh, not generation, but the, before the facelift, the 2013 and the 14s? And uh, as always, thank you so much to all my subscribers. And if you hit, haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you do so, so you can uh, take part of future reviews like this. Until next time, Bye-bye.